Hi, I'm Alex Contouris. I'm uh, the Sports Science and Sports Medicine Manager for Cricket Australia, physio by profession, and now heading our Sports Science and Sports Medicine team, so looking at performance and safety elements um, of our game. Cricket's a very safe sport um, relative to some of the other sports uh, that are around, uh, but it is played with a hard ball, um, it's projectile, um, and injuries can occur. The, the, the good thing about cricket though is there's plenty of safety equipment around um, and makes the game very, very safe. The British standard itself came in in 2013. Um, there was a previous standard you know, that was done 20 years ago. Um, and like a lot of these things, with technology and changes, a lot of things uh, move forward. Probably one of the most important parts of the, the British standard is the, the face guard. So there's two aspects of the helmet. There's the, there's the shell um, um, and then there's the, the face guard. Previously you could adjust the gap between the, the, the grill and the, and, and the helmet and the ball potentially could pass through. As you can see here these are fixed and the helmet's tested at different angles to show that the ball doesn't doesn't penetrate. The second part about um, of the testing with with the, with the face guard is that there there's a test that they do where they fire a ball at the at the helmet at the at, at the at the face guard, and the, the ball is not allowed to make any contact with the face. So there's no collapse of the bars. So which means that there's a consistent standard in the quality of the welding and of the, the strength of the bars. So previously what we saw, some of the injuries we saw is that the ball would pass through the gap here and there was some horrific eye um, injuries, eye socket injuries, there are lots of fractures in the eye socket and also the, 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 the bars would collapse on the face guard and create um, jaw fractures. Um, so they're two pretty serious injuries so it's um, it's got rid of, essentially got rid of those. The important part about the, the British standard is that it um, it's aligned to some of the other helmet standards like bicycles. Um, for example, for the for the hard part of the helmet, the the shell, um, there's a drop test that um, is used to test how how much force the helmet absorbs um, on impact. So that's really important. Obviously, if the ball hits the person on the head, we know that it can absorb X amount of force and makes it very safe. With players who don't wear helmets at all, you can get, uh, get some very serious skull fractures and brain bleeds. So essentially, if you're wearing a helmet, it um, it mitigates against that. At the elite level, you see bowlers bowling probably faster than you see at community level. Um, so obviously there's there's a risk and probably a fear factor as well, a little bit, um, when it comes to uh, players wearing a helmet. But um, it's just as important that players competing at the community level are also wearing it because you do get top edges. You, you know, there are bowlers who bowl fast enough. The ball is still hard. The risks are just the same uh, for all community level cricketers as it is for at, at the elite level. 